Gary, would you talk about your decision to uh, come back for another year? Yeah, I mean, it was tough. Towards the end of the season, obviously, we didn't have a ton of guys. I think mean, everybody kind of knows we were a little depleted. But what we had coming back was really exciting. Um, I felt that I could help in some sort of fashion, be able to help us win. I think bringing everybody back that we did, you know, to think we only lost really Justin Betts and Sam Duvall, right? You know, that's that's a lot coming back, right? So I think that had a big role in playing in it. And, you know, I, lo I love being here. I think this is great. I think, you know, I was told uh, by family that life will go when it goes. You know, you got you got a chance to play again. You know, you, you do it. So it, it was a big, it was an easy decision, but also tough at the same time. How much more, Gary, have you even been pushed now? Because there's a lot more experience. There's some talented newcomers. How much more are you even feeling, even though being a veteran guy, that there's a lot of competition? Yeah, there is a lot of competition. Everybody's healthy. You know, and Joe Griffin gets all the credit for that, being able to push us this offseason in the weight room to get where we're at now. And everybody's hopefully, you know, knock on wood, we all stay healthy. But we're deep, too. You know, the transfers coming in, Dez and Billy, and then the freshmen being able to push us as well. You know, it's a deep freshman class. You know, and that, that helps with competition, but you know, just being just be the best leader I can be. You know, we've had some great leaders here from the time I've been here, just being able to kind of learn from them and feed off them as well, and just kind of do it our own way, both of us. But uh, you know, we're really excited for, for what we got. You know, feel like being one of the uh, veteran leaders out here. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, I think a lot of the time we even last year, me and Garrett step up be a veteran leader which is fun, and even this year, a lot of new guys, as you talked about the transfers, a really good, exciting freshman class, and it's fun to play with, and to add to that, our depth is a lot to be excited about. Uh, can, you, can you talk a little bit about uh, October of 23 versus October of 22 for you? Yeah, October of 23, I, was, I wasn't even healthy yet. I was still doing rehab. I got cleared to play two days before the Louisville game last year and kind of got thrown in the fire. I think I was like 182 pounds and now I'm, thank, like you said, thanks to Joe Griffin, I'm 210. So, a lot of uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> For both of you guys, uh, obviously you've seen the games in this point. Last year you guys had a tough schedule in this year. To have a fully healthy team heading into this new year, uh, what are those expectations against some of those teams like Utah going on the road in, in Utah, and, and what does that look like for the squad this year? Yeah, we like our chances with anyone. I think we're never going to back down, and we're used to that. I mean, in the past, we've played a really tough schedule, and our plan never changes in terms of who we play and what we do. So it's just like any game. I know that sounds cliche, but we got the pieces, and we'll be right. Yeah, I think the same thing with them, with the depth. I mean, what we talked about, being able to go in and, and also the experience. We're really old this year. It feels a lot like the year that we wanted uh, a couple years ago with how deep and old we are. Um, and I think that everybody in this room has expectations, but everybody knows what's expected of us. Uh, so I think, you know, when we go into those games, we just play the way we are. It's, you know, Bo Brayden has a very hard time scheduling games because teams don't want to play us. I think that's a lot of how we play and, and the way we carry ourselves. And, you know, we always go in to win. That's the kind of guys we got in the locker room. Every program has transfers. You don't just see wholesale people leaving here. Why, why do you guys think that? It's a, it, it's a good place to be. It, it's your teammates. You know, in a lot of other places, you know, it's makeshift nowadays, right? With the transfer portal and everything else, you guys, you don't know who you're gonna, who's going to be your teammate next year. Um, but you know here, you know, the, the reason that you come here uh, is to play with great guys, be in a great program, great school. Um, and we're, we're just kind of here to build on that. You know, obviously we know 2021, what that did for, for the university. And I think that that's all we're trying to do, is just keep building that up. And, um, you know, yeah, we got great guys. So that's a lot to do with it. Do you all still hold out hope that the NCAA could come to a census here? Uh, we, we appreciate everything Coach does. You know, he fights for us every single day to be able to do it. We appreciate that. Um, you know, it's the cards that are dealt to us, um, but we, we play this game because we love it, right? We don't play it to make the tournament. We don't play it to, you know, do that kind of stuff. We play to win. We play to do with those guys in the locker room. And, you know, we'll fight. We'll keep fighting. Um, but next year they're going to be eligible. And I think that whatever we're able to give them this year, 
um, and obviously in years past as well, hopefully it gets them over that hump next year that they're, you know, the, the wait was worth it in a sense that we were able to give it, give them experience and it just feels better for the guys that will be here next year. Heck, we'll be there when they're winning ASUN next year and they're making the tournament, we'll be at the first game in the, in the tournament. So, you know, everybody's been a big part of building on that and uh, we'll keep doing what we got to do. Can I answer got some for you? No, I'm good. Thank you. That was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. How are you guys?